hi guys welcome to simplifying tech and programming so in today's session we are going to check about how we can import csv file into elasticsearch by using blockstash so in previous session we have checked about how we can configure and install blockstash on windows so continue further so let's uh, import some data by using blockstash into elasticsearch so we can import multiple files like or we can import multiple sources of information like CSV data or we can import the database data or SQL data into Elasticsearch. So basically we, we can start with the Logstash first. So I will just gi give you the brief about Logstash. So Logstash is a, like a data pipeline we can say. So here you can say in the layman terms we can say when we, we are getting input and we are processing that input in the filter and we are transforming data as understandable into the output format so here the our output is a elastic search so we are transforming data into elastic search understandable format and we are saving into output that is elastic search in details like uh, uh, the the log stash basics is a data source data source is a uh, form of the data which can be uh, any form like csv or excel form or uh, sql form or any form that act as input then filter and output and destination is your uh, anything like uh, elastic search kafka any destination you can have so uh, this way we can like uh, convert one data into uh, one data format into another data format so let's continue so in the previous session like uh, i have uh, told you about uh, how we can uh, start the elastic search so go to the, uh, the elastic search installation directory and there you can uh, from the bin directory you can hit the elastic search uh, uh, cmd command so i have already uh, my elastic search started also we are visualizing the data uh, which is into logstash so we are using uh, kibana also so i have started the kibana on uh, 5601 port so now let's uh, uh, take one sample csv file so go to google.com and uh, search for sample csv file for study okay so there are lots of sources uh, from where you can find the sample csv file but uh, uh, I am taking this uh, from e4excel.com. Yeah, so here uh, there are sample XMLs or CSV files available. So uh, I am taking this uh, CSV, I am downloading this CSV file that is 100 sales records. So click on 100 sales records. Yeah, so go to downloaded uh, directory. Where I got this extract here. Okay, the file got extracted. Now put this uh, uh, data into one directory. So I'm putting this into C data directory. Yeah, so uh, I have kept it here. So now let's uh, write the configuration for uh, Logstash. So now I have downloaded the CSV. Now I want to load it into Elasticsearch. So we have to write the pipeline in between uh, Logstash. Okay, so there are three steps as, as I mentioned in the uh, beginning. So one is a input, one is a filter and other one is a output. Okay, so uh, we are writing uh, like I as I mentioned, so we have to give some configuration like input. Input is my CSV file. Okay, so just I am writing for understanding format like this and then here i have to write the column configuration how how my columns uh, look like so that column configuration i write into a uh, filter and uh, in output i can write elastic db connection details okay so this way we have to write it so uh, we have to follow the syntax 
So, I already had a sample. So, I, I will be explain what is this. So, this CSV file we have to give like this like uh, we have to give the file uh, section in which I have to give path where my CSV is exist. So, like I said like my CSV is exist in data directory C data directory ok. So, I have given this then start position. So, we have to give the start position so and the since db path. So, start position means from where I have to start and uh, since db position since db path is a is a path where uh, your log stash is uh, previously stopped or it is uh, uh, it is ended ok. So, if you want to see detail about this then go to the Elasticsearch documentation. So, there uh, they have mentioned like what is a path. So, this is required setting. So, path is a uh, to the file as a input. So, you have to give the input file path where csv exists. Then uh, what is the since db path? So, path of the since db database file keep the track of the current position monitoring for the log files that will the return into the disk ok. So, this is the since db path. So, this is done for input. Now, for filter you have to just give the ok. So, here we have given the file here we have given the what is the csv and what is the separator. So, my csv is comma separated file that is a separated by comma and I have to give the column so that my database could map that columns into uh, elastic search data. So, for this columns so I have to go to the downloaded file. So, say right click edit with notepad. So, you can see this is my csv data. So, this is the header this is the column name. So, just copy this. I have to give uh, all headers into quotes. Okay. So, to do that, I am going to replace the commas by quotes. Okay. And I have to add one quote here. Okay. Then copy this into your log stash configuration. Yeah. So, filter is done. Now, in the output, I have to write the connection details. So, what is the syntax for connection details? So, this is the your Elasticsearch connection details. So, we are going to connect on Elasticsearch that is present on localhost 9200 port and the index. So, whatever the data is there, so that CSV data. So, I am importing into my Elasticsearch and whatever the table or index into my Elasticsearch will be with the name sales records. So, this index will be created into sales record and I am doing the STD out ok. So, now you have to save this file ok. So, now I have like We, we can save this into log stash configuration directory. So, here I have a log stash dot conf. So, so you have to name this file as a log stash dot conf ok. So, save it ok. So, it is save as log stash dot txt. So, I have to change the name. So, let us verify it if it is saved correctly. Yeah. So, it is a log stash dot conf ok. So, regarding the since db path, so, uh, so I am uh, executing these files on uh, windows. So, it will be like a capital null, but uh, if you have uh, like Linux or Unix, then uh, there is a like dev com slash null. So, this path you can give in case of uh, Linux or Unix, but for Windows you have to give like capital null ok. So, this is about uh, since db path where your log stash file uh, previously stopped ok. So, save it. So, now just uh, you have to like execute uh, your, uh, your log stash, you have to start your log stash. So, go to log stash directory bin directory this directory only. 
okay so now let's initiate log stash bin slash log stash minus f log stash dot con f so hit enter okay so i have to replace uh, the forward slash into backslash okay so it's a starting pipeline then it's a starting pipeline is started and it is successfully started the log stash api endpoint so here uh, pipeline source is a uh, e-study logstash.conf so whatever the logstash.conf we have provided so it is uh, executed and this csv file also got imported so now we can verify that by using kibana so so kibana url is this so uh, you can see this is the kibana url so I have Kibana. So uh, I have to list my all indexes present into my system. So just uh, use the command underscore cat and indices. So it will list down all the indexes uh, present into my database. So you can see I can able to see this sales uh, dash records, sales have one records indexes created that we have given into the con file. So now let's verify what is inside that sales records that is correctly imported or not. So to get to see the records inside the sales index. So just say get index name slash underscore search and just say <coughs> send to request. Yeah. So you can see 101 records are in successfully imported into Elasticsearch from the CSV file. So you can see, so this is the, like I have 100 sales records plus one is uh, your header. So uh, that 101 records are there. So you can verify also. So what are the column names here? So you can see this is the uh, country, then uh, region, region, country, so that is there into my CSV file. So this is my region, this is my country, this is, this is the order ID, total profit, total cost, total revenue. So you can see this is a total revenue, ship date, order date. So whatever uh, your uh, column names uh, you have provided, so for that you got this data. So we got the 100 records into our index. Let's go into further, we can see the index pattern also. So for this, to see the index pattern for that created index, you can go to stack management and inside that stack management, you can go to index pattern. So I'm talking about uh, this Elasticsearch version 7.10. Okay, so <coughs> you can see, uh, you can say create index pattern. So here you can see, you can able to see your uh, index name. So just copy this index name here, sales record, you have successful match, say next. Then you can select this by default underscore uh, at the right timestamp and hit create index pattern. Okay, so this index pattern is created that means like uh, it has mapped your column data like this country item type order date from this column names this country item type okay so this mapping it has done so now let's verify into our discovered visualization of data we can verify into kibana discover tab so go to discover tab so inside my discover tab so you can able to see this drop down so whatever the index pattern I have created, so that is visible here, that is a sales record. So click on that. So it is searching for that index pattern and uh, here we go. So we got this uh, spike of 101. So got one, so that uh, on in CSV file, I have imported like uh, 100 uh, sales records. So that 
uh, codes can be in discover tab so we can see into details so this is uh, uh, like the one document one uh, comma separated uh, file where uh, one attribute can say into uh, json format where you can able to see this data like uh, whatever the region country item type for uh, for one record you can say so this one record can be mapped with uh, this like uh, this is a region then this is a country path total revenue like this like for example this is a region country then uh, the total revenue this kind of uh, all columns are uh, visible into uh, discover tab <coughs> so likewise uh, we we can see any document here uh, so there are 100 documents you can able to see in table format also and json format also so in json format you can able to visualize all the data which is imported from csv file so just like that you can import csv data into elasticsearch and you can visualize into kibana yeah so that's all for this session so uh, in in further sessions like uh, we can continue with the uh, code operations with elasticsearch database and many more topics in the elasticsearch so stay tuned and uh, thanks a lot for watching